Okay, we got we're looking from Starry's perspective. It is Chandelure and Decidueye. Soprano had to fight this match earlier with me. She didn't end up in losers, but maybe she'll fare a bit better. Maybe she'll fare better during this. Krogunk and Sylvie on support. I like it. I like it a lot. Krogunk, does, Krogunk is good for spacing people out and punishes. Okay, that grab was weird. Just backing up. Just backing up. Backing up. Nice smog there by Starry. Does nick her with that 2x. Just go for another grab. These grabs are not working out for Starry right now. Tries to go for some. Tries to go for some projectiles. Tries to go for an overheat, but unfortunately had a debuff on her when it happened. I don't. Well. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. Calls the Krogan. Does still cause a defense debuff. That's funny. Yeah, what I like about Krogunk is that it causes a bit of a... It causes a weird setup with Shane Lawrence. Like, oh, you want to get next to me? Now you have to deal with a debuff. Now you have to deal with being next to me in your phase with a defense debuff. Tries to go for that 5 line on that 6x, but unfortunately that 6x did connect. Huge damage. Not a whole lot of damage on that acrobatic, so she does not full burst. Does hit two of those projectiles, but was able to shield the third one. Try to go for a laser, but Soprano is just bouncing all over the walls here. The support debuff is about to go away. It's gone now. Calls in the Sylveon. Huge defense buff. Just walks up and grabs. All right. I like it. I like it. Calls in her. Calls in her burst. Ah, uh, she went for a burst instead. Yeah, that burst. Oh my gosh, okay. Stuffs out Soprano's burst. Gets that counter. Oh no. They used up her buff with overheat. Thankfully, she still doesn't have a debuff because of that buff. Oh, it goes for that release Y. And Soprano will take the first game. into game two. No changes. I have to hold a piece of ice in my mouth. I don't think I should do that while I'm commentating. Probably not a good idea. Uh, Picano is trying to say some weird stuff and I'm just not going to listen to him. He's right in front of me, so I hope he's hearing me. He hope he, I hope he hears me. He's just silently nodding his head. Nice smog there. Causing a quick base shift. Another smog. Just keep those defense debuffs on it. Another smog. Another smog! <laughs> just all the smogs. Hello. Hello. Oh, I thought that was going to hit. But that does put Shannon in the air, so those grabs, that grab wouldn't have worked. Okay, Starry is just going for some weird stuff, and it is working out super well right now. All the defense buff to get power down a bit, power down that um, frog a bit. Calls in Shin, calls in a burst. Is it right going her burst too? Doesn't overheat. Can't hang away from that. Is able to shield that Decidueye burst. Goes for a flight stance JX. Does get meaty. That Oki from Soprano was really good there. 
Soprano on match point. Let's see if Starry can make a bit of a comeback here. He's gotten some really good stuff during this match, so maybe we can actually see some cool stuff. Some more cool stuff. Nice homing there, buddy. Oh my gosh, Soprano and Starry just going back and forth with these weird trades. These weird whiffs. I tried to go for a Flame Burst. Flame Burst connecting that time. From what I'm seeing, if we can see a little bit more, um, is that going to activate the... Okay, I think it's only if she was shielding. Okay, I mean, it did activate it. activated it, but I think it only if, if Chandelure was shielding, it would have actually done something. I think that There are some bursts where it only work, it'll work if you shield it. It's kind of weird. Okay, Soprano takes us 2-0. Yeah.